Vitaly Kravtsov has finally been traded. Uh, we traded, the Rangers traded Vitaly Kravtsov to the Vancouver Canucks in exchange for William Lockwood and a 2026 seventh round pick. Now, William Lockwood is a 24 year old player. He is also a right wing. He has basically bounced back and forth between the Canucks and the AHL over the past three seasons, including this one. He has zero goals and one assist at the NHL level in 28 career games. Uh, you want to talk about selling low on a prospect. I think that's exactly what Chris Drury did here. But uh, it was pretty obvious that he was going to get traded and this was the unfortunate return that the Rangers got. Right. And, you know, <clears throat> the simple fact here, Shades, is that the value for Vitaly Kravstov around the league, it wasn't high. You know, the Rangers did not do a very good job of developing him, showcasing him to other teams, and proving why he would be a valuable asset and why another team should give up somebody of value. And, you know, I don't know how much merit there is to this, um, but I don't know if you watched the hockey guy on YouTube, but he mentioned Sometimes. that the Rangers... Yeah, the, the Rangers asked for Niels Holglander in exchange for Vitaly Kravtsov, and the Canucks said no way. And the Rangers, excuse me, the Canucks had all the re leverage in the trade, uh, and that's why they were able to give up Lockwood. Lockwood's not a bad player. You know, he's put up, what, maybe, you know, 0. 0.6 points per game in the AHL with the average for Canucks. So, you know, again, a fringe NHL player, but still a player with a upside 24 years old a little bit undersized but he could come and help the bottom six in the next couple of years you never know and yeah, a seventh round pick is you know oh yeah the uh the almighty seventh round pick <laughs> second time this episode we mentioned the almighty seventh hey i mean fucking seventh round picture essential bro if steve dangle has taught me anything mm -hmm. yeah but uh no like you said this was they did a terrible job at showcasing him. They clearly did not give him a fair chance because he should have been playing these last two years. And for whatever reason, especially this year, just for whatever reason, just wasn't whenever he was in the lineup, he would get scratched for no reason over other players. And well, I mean, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad this trade finally happened. I really hope the kid flourishes in Vancouver because he desperately needed a fresh start with everything that the team has put him through the last two seasons. And you know what? Uh, Vancouver is going to give him a good opportunity to play in the top six, give him the minutes that he's been searching for ever since he entered the NHL. And, you know, I think, you know, going back to what I said, Shades, about other teams, you know, not really wanting to give up a big time asset for this player. I think that there was a little bit of fear from around the league. And again, this is something that uh, I was able to gain from uh, Elliot Friedman on 32 thoughts um, that Vitaly Kravtsov might return to the KHL. So, you know, teams still have that worry that, you know, because Vitaly Kravtsov going back and playing for tractor, you know, he did that for a couple of years there in the first couple of years of his development with the Rangers. And, you know, you never know at this point, if he just would just say, screw it, you know, I'm not getting the NHL playing time. I'll go back. But I think the situation matters in that context. And the situation is the Vancouver Canucks. And the matter of the fact is he'll have a chance to go there and either play with Elias Pettersson, who is having a bounce back season, an excellent season, or JT Miller, who is not a bad second line center himself. So Vitaly Kravtsov is going to have every single opportunity from the rest of the season, uh, from here on out to the rest of the season to prove uh, why the Rangers should have given him another shot. But uh, again, Rangers get a little bit of an underwhelming return, but I think Vancouver was one of the few teams that was interested and would give up anything worth uh, anything of value. So. Yep. And, uh, just to put this out there, uh, Kravtsov, you know, he gets a legitimate chance, as you said, to play with the Canucks. And like I said, I hope he uh, hope he does well. And he did have an interesting quote earlier this afternoon. Or it, the quote might have been from yesterday. I didn't see the uh, timestamp of when the thing was posted. But he basically said uh, he's not really going to talk about his time here what have whatever happened here stays here and that was uh pretty telling 
I don't know if it was telling, but it was an interesting choice of words. Well, I think Vitaly Kravtsov knows that, you know, um, character matters in this league and, you know, front office, you know, takes a look at that. Um, and, you know, the words that he uses to describe his time with an original six franchise, you know, he should just have some trepidation in that. And I think he did right uh, by holding back his words. Um, and we all know what he meant, Shades. You know, we can all read between the lines here. Oh, yeah. You know, clearly he has resentment towards the Rangers and the way that they developed them and the way that they, um, you know, kind of eased them into the NHL level. Um and he just, you know, he didn't want to come out right and say it and attack the team in this press conference. Uh, and I think that was the right thing to do on his part. And lastly, uh, you said about playing time. The only time he did get consistent playing time on the Rangers was down the stretch in Quinn's last season. Where, I mean, let's be honest, at, at as a 21-year-old at the time, he looked all right. He looked decent. Yeah, yeah and then the Rangers traded Buchnevich and then... He, he just never got playing time after that, which that is still baffling to me. It's, but hey, the trade is done. That there's, do you think that there's any correlation that two head coaches now in David Quinn and Gerard Gallant are not getting them chances? Because I mean, that is telling to me. You know? Well, no, no, here's the thing. He did get a chance under Quinn. But did he get a chance after Buchnevich was traded? No, because that happened- no, no, because no, Quinn that, was the last season of Buchnevich. Remember? Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Trust me. I have this. I have that whole train trade ingrained in my head. So. Bad memory. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's all good. I have my hiccups every episode, as you very well know. But yeah, no, I feel like. Just to cap this off, he's been traded. Final thoughts. Uh, I mean, it seemed clear to me that Gallant never really saw anything in him, and he clearly did not get a fair shot for, as I've mentioned earlier, about five minutes ago. But, uh, yeah, the trade is done. I wish him well. And as a player, as a young player who I actually saw potential in two years ago, I hope he proves the Rangers wrong. Yeah. Um, I mean, and he very well might prove the Rangers wrong. You know, you never know. And again, he's still a young player. He's still 23 years old. He's got good NHL size, 6'3", 186, you know, and in 28 games this season, six points, three goals, three assists. But you know what? He's going to have a chance to go on that, you know, possibly on that number one or number two power play unit. The Canucks are a team that are shopping wingers like Brock Besser. So if Brock Besser gets moved out, then suddenly uh, Vitaly Kravtsov's placement on the death chart will change. Um, but again, you know, former Ranger, I hope the best for him. Um, but again, like I've said in past episodes, you know, he just did not fit the timeline of where this team is at right now. And if it came down to acquiring Patrick Kane and having the tally crafts off be a cap casualty or keeping crafts off around and not playing them, that's what it comes down to, to me, you know? I know Kravtsov is not making a lot of money, but let's call it a spade a spade here. The reason why the Rangers traded Vitaly Kravtsov was so they could get his contract off of the books. Yep. And which leads into... So they could bring in Patrick Kane. 